skin i've heard someone said it's going to make give you this milky looking white skin baby i don't got a reason to lie they gave me the key to the sky but i rather hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl lise what's up guys what's good so guys today i will be talking about a very powerful serum called skin free milk yeah i know there's a lot of review about the serum already but i still see some people make mistakes with the serum even till this day and i'm here to talk about the serum okay another thing i will be talking about today i will be um answering a few questions about the pigment dogs um um serum okay so let me stop rambling and just move into the video already don't forget to like comment share subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up you already know the drill right yeah so first off i will be talking about the pigment dogs um serum i got a lot of questions on that video i made and a whole lot of questions are on my ig i might not be able to answer all of the questions but i answer very very important ones okay just very few because i need to make this video as short as possible okay so um for the pigment dogs um, um uh, serum i got a question i got a couple of questions a whole lot of you guys asked how to spot the fake and the original okay initially when i got this serum i i didn't know the difference okay i just went to the store and i asked for it because i saw reviews and i also asked some friends about it they said it was good i already made a video about that so you guys can go watch that video and you know you understand what i'm saying what about see because i'm not going in depth about this serum today because i've already talked about this the serum already on that if you guys want to see that video i'm going to leave it on the cards or in the description so you guys can go check that video out because i said i really took out time to explain this serum to you guys okay how i used it and everything so um how to spot the how to spot the original you want to make sure that there's the name pigment dogs is um written on the bottle just like this i don't know if you guys can see because the first one i got did not have this name written on it if you buy if you buy this serum and the name is not written on it like this just know it's the fake one okay you want to be sure that you have it there and also on the cap be sure to you know check for these things i know it might be difficult to check on the bottle because usually it has a wrap covering it so just be sure to i mean you can just risk it okay just it's not that expensive i think it's about 1500 2k so basically remove the wrap and check the bottle if the if it's not written on the bottle like this you see the way it's looking right here if it's not look if it's not written on the bottle like this just know that you're dealing with a fake pigment dog serum okay also someone asked me if this actually burns my skin i also explained in that video how to use it this can be a blessing and a curse if you don't use it the right way it can burn your skin so that's why i always advise if you don't know how to premix cream give a professional to help you premix it they would know how to balance it up they'll know how to they know the quantity and the carrier right carrier oils to you know add to that cream whether it's a face cream or a body cream they would know how to mix it for you to give you a perfect skin tone okay so yeah and that question i got was um how long did i use it for i only used it to clear my dark spot because then i was dealing with very very severe i had serious dark spots on my face okay so after using it for like three weeks i discontinued i didn't even have any anymore and i don't think i want to buy for now because i am done clearing my dark spots because when i was using it then it made me so light and i explained in that video and obviously i don't want to be white because i'm not a light person like i'm not white my okay. caramel complexion and i want to keep it at that okay so yeah i don't I'm, I'm not using it currently but anytime i have dark spots or anytime i'm breaking out i use it okay that's the only time i get to use it so yeah those are the few questions i'll be taking for today maybe on the next on my next video i will i'll take some more questions okay so for the screen skin free milk this is what it looks like okay so it looks like it has this milky consistency but brah we all know that this is not a milk this is an oil okay it's an oil this oil is really very okay but like i said with the pigment dog serum it can be a blessing and a cost if you don't know how to use it the right way this oil is capable of damaging your skin but if you know how to use it the right way you are going to love your skin trust me most of all the serums are really very good there are two things you want to look out for when it comes to using serums and all of that. Be sure of the originality and also you want to be sure of the usage, okay? You want to be sure you know how to use it. You don't want to abuse it because usage of this product for products like this matters a lot. That's why I said it's a blessing and a cost. If you don't know how to use it, if you don't know the right quantity to use, it's going to damage your skin. Trust me. This is a very, very good cream. This is a, sorry. This is a very, very good oil. Trust me. 
but you cannot use this oil on your skin directly like i said the pigment dogs you cannot use this on your skin directly you cannot use this oil alone alone by itself on your skin i know a lot of people will be like oh you can use it on your skin as a milk it's going to make your skin i've heard someone said it's going to make give you this milky looking white skin baby do not use this on your skin directly if you must use this on your skin be sure to have a base cream okay be sure to have a base cream this is a very very strong strong bleaching oil this is not even a serum you just go to a store and just pick up by yourself if you don't know how to use it this this is serum is for professionals alone okay it is only for professionals and if you want to use it at home please ask seek ask a professional to tell you how to use so this is a very good serum i am using it myself as you can see i've had this oil for like almost a year if not two years and you can see it's because i am not abusing it i can use just a teaspoon and drop it in my body oil i can use just a teaspoon and drop it in my body lotion and mind you whenever you're using this oil please please and please do not use it during the daytime serums like this have the tendency of drying your skin out so please if you are using this serum be sure to have a good moisturizer moisturize your skin every single day please okay to keep that balance if you want the healthy looking it doesn't really nourish your skin okay it just lightens your skin so you need nourishing products good moisturizer good carrier oil if you're going to mix this with any cream be sure to have some carrier oils along with the products you're using okay like um, avocado like carrot um, oil avocado oil carrot oil um so many of them like that okay i'm sure you guys know what i mean by carrier oils good carrier oils to give you that to um nourish your skin okay because when you're using this kind of strong strong bleaching oil you want to use nourishing you want to add some nourishing stuff into the products you are using okay you want to add some nourishing stuff into the product as well you just don't want to add this and just lightning lightning stuff all the way through you want to have some nourishing stuff in it like Good carrier oils like avocado oil carrot oil you know and all of that okay so be sure to always moisturize your skin and don't always keep to using this cream the whole week the whole month sometimes you give yourself your skin breathing space okay because too much of this too much of you know all of this kind of um strong um serums you know can damage your skin like if you overdo it like you don't give your skin breathing space and all it can damage your skin okay so you want to give your skin some time to just chill out while you use nourishing stuff nourishing like good uh, moisturizer or good oil just to nourish your skin you know before you continue back again just give your skin some you know break and continue break and you don't just use lightning or a product all the way through give your skin some breathing space give it some space to breathe while you use nourishing stuff to make your skin look healthy okay because too much of this because a whole lot of lightning stuff can actually take away from your skin if you're not using nourishing stuff to go with it to just keep taking away from your skin and you know your skin would just not be at its best if you know what you want to have a healthy looking white skin not a a scruffy or you know not so good looking light skin that's what i do see some days i would use you know some of my brightening stuff i don't really use too many strong stuff okay i use some of my brightening stuff um sometimes and then sometimes i just give it space sometimes i stay two weeks a month i stay away from it for like two weeks or a month and you see me continue again and those period when i'm not using it i use very good moisturizers good good oils good you know carrier good oils good moisturizers that's what you see me doing i scrub my skin i moisturize i take my my supplement just to have a healthy looking skin i feel like the goal shouldn't just be to be light or to be white or to be whatever the goal should be if you're trying to be light make sure your skin is healthy make sure your skin is you know on point healthy not you know being light or bright and your skin is just not looking so cool okay so yeah that's it for me so basically this is a very good um serum it's just the usage if you use it very well you're going to love your skin this would give you a, your desired complexion okay but you want to be careful how you use it as a good serum like i said i use it myself but you want to be careful of the usage you can't use it directly on your skin 
okay don't let anybody deceive you you can't use it directly on your skin and be sure to get the original because there's so many so many fake serums out there yeah. if you must use it please have a base cream okay have a base cream and always moisturize your skin if you're going to be using this serum in your cream okay and be sure to always wear an SPF whenever you're using if you know you're using lightning stuff strong stuff you know be sure to always wear an SPF whether you are using that product you know during the day or not be sure to always wear an SPF it is very important because when you use things like this it exposes it kind of exposes your skin to the Sun okay so you want to always make it a habit okay always wear an SPF okay so yeah with this video thank you guys for watching and I'll sure to catch you guys in my next one.